It's a team effort, Victor Felt. Really, really is a team effort. It's not unusual for us to walk about an hour, hour and a half into a work site carrying tools. Certainly carrying the bars is hard work. I find those heavy. The shovels are okay. Last summer we were up here for three days with a host of Fixer Fells volunteers and we actually built this path. There were 20 tonne of stone in helicopter bags. This path was quite a remote path but more and more people are using it and it's getting more and more eroded. The Fixer Fells volunteers are a regular group that uh, come out and help us with all sorts of work on the fells and they help us out with helicopter lists, help us out with marshalling and the like. Someone on the way up to Cold Pike, so that path yeah. there up towards Great yeah. Knot. Got about one ton bags, There's well over 20 uh, here. Years ago, all the stone was gathered on the fell by hand, but nowadays we tend to use a helicopter when we can. It prevents us creating new erosion scars where we walk the stone from where we gather it to the job, and it also enables us to gather more sizeable stone to build our paths with in our drains, and that makes them better quality and sturdier, and therefore people are more likely to use them. It's quite addictive. We come out in all weathers, but one of the main reasons you keep coming back is it's just so much fun. It's a good camaraderie in there. They're not a bad bunch of lads, as you can see, you know. They're a really dedicated bunch, and we couldn't do it without them. Essentially, the nub of the Fixer Fells partnership's work is the protecting of this iconic landscape. We have 16 million visitors or so a year. They come because of the look of the landscape. We're protecting it and looking after it and preserving it for future generations to enjoy.